here with the very latest breaking news coverage. He's on the ground. He's in Israel. He's been doing a phenomenal job. It's 4.06 a.m. His time is our friend and, and our host of America Reports, John Roberts. John, great reporting all week. Thank you for staying up so early in the morning for us. Oh, Sean, not a problem. Uh, we like to burn the midnight oil around here. War never stops. Neither do we. But let me start with what you mentioned just a moment ago, and that was who was responsible for this attack on the hospital in Gaza. The chief IDF spokesman, Israeli Defense Force spokesman, held a briefing around midnight in which he said that Israel has got drone footage, has got communications intercepts and radar data that prove that it was an Islamic Jihad rocket that malfunctioned in mid-flight and crashed down on top of that hospital, killing all of those people. He said that that information will be put together in a comprehensive brief to be presented to President Biden when he gets here for his meeting with, Pre with Prime Minister Netanyahu a little bit later on this morning. Now, no question, though, that this hospital explosion has complicated this entire trip. Uh, you mentioned the fact that the Arab leaders of Jordan and Egypt have canceled a quad summit that was also going to include the Palestinian leader Mahmoud Abbas that was scheduled for Jordan after the president departs uh, Israel. Uh, John Kirby on Air Force One on the way over here, Sean, tried to put the best face on that, saying that it wasn't canceled because those nations were outraged over what was happening and what happened at that hospital. It was canceled because of three days of mourning. Now, Kirby also said that the president is going to have some tough questions for Israel, likely about the hospital, which Israel plans to counter with this evidence that it says it has gathered, but also about what the aims and the strategy of potential ground operation are. And very importantly to President Biden, how to ensure the rank and file Palestinians who have nothing to do with Hamas are, are given as much safety as possible and also as much aid as can possibly be brought in to the southern area of the country while an Israeli ground operation goes at Hamas in the northern part. Also complicating all of this, and you mentioned Hezbollah, is what will happen tomorrow? Because Hezbollah has declared tomorrow will be a day of, quote, unprecedented anger. There have been skirmishes that we've been reporting across the northern border of Israel uh, in, into Lebanon, uh, going back and forth with Hezbollah firing anti-tank missiles, Israel responding. Will Hezbollah step up those attacks? Could the war begin to widen? There's no indication that Hasran Nasrallah, who is the leader of Hezbollah, has gotten his marching orders from Iran yet. So maybe things will remain at the low level that they've been for the past 10 days between Hezbollah and Israel. One other point, Sean, that we should uh, uh, pass along to you as well is that President Biden, according to John Kirby, is going to take some time after his meeting with Netanyahu, and he will meet uh, with the families of Americans who were killed in that horrific attack on Saturday, October the 7th, as well as the families of Americans who believe that their loved ones are being held hostage. Big day ahead of us, Sean. John, if I may ask you, the, the cancellation of meetings with the, the leaders of Jordan and Egypt and, and uh, Fatah, President Abbas, the Palestinian president, uh, how is that being interpreted, if I may ask, on the ground? I think it's probably part of the universal condemnation of what it was initially believed to have been an Israeli airstrike. Uh, none of the Arab nations have dialed back on that. Even the United Nations came right out and blamed Israel for the airstrike. So it, we'll see tomorrow how powerful the evidence is that the IDF puts out there. But if they can coordinate drone footage, you know, we, let me just say that we have seen some video footage that was taken by a news organization that does show a rocket malfunctioning in mid-flight and then an explosion occurring on the ground shortly after. But if the Israeli Defense Force can come up with compelling evidence uh, through radar, through drones, and again, they've got them flying all over, and these communications intercepts, which are said to be between militants who are blaming Islamic Jihad for this, they may be able to make a compelling case that it wasn't Israel that was responsible, but Arab nations like it wouldn't even accept it if, if it was right there in front of them for everybody to see it. All right, John Roberts, again, thanks for staying up so late for us. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.